Traders, good morning. It's Scott. Welcome to the Trade Net Trade Room. Welcome to a beautiful Friday. Ready to rock and roll today. I'm looking forward to closing out the week on a high note. It's been one heck of a profitable week. We actually had a wonderful trading experience yesterday afternoon, uh, closing out the Thursday. And as we get into Friday today, should be good again. These markets just cannot stop. They uh, Nothing gets in the way. Just powering forward, all at new highs now. We're going to see if the Dow stretches out today at all and if we close this week on a high note. So that brings us to our futures today. And futures across the board this morning, all markets, all six markets that I track, that we track globally, are higher. And that means we should have a pretty good opening today. And in fact, we do. Dow futures up 71 points now this morning. S&P futures up 5.75 and the nasdaq futures up 10 points so we're going to rally out of the gate here up green to start the day and then we'll see what happens here as we get this friday started market is about to start as always take a look at uh, the s p 500 uh, we were uh, going up and down yesterday finished up eventually now take a look at the daily daily is very very strong markets moving up we also start with a small gap up today about 0.2 percent market is definitely trending higher and here we go i'm posting bip under 42.45 never ever traded this stock but uh we see how it does if it comes down i'll take a risk with ilma under the lows very small size stop is uh, at least two points under 308 i don't have time to post it get ready ilma under 308 did bip trigger I was busy looking at the element. I didn't see that. It comes down again under 42.45. I'll take it. The lows is 42.39. I like the fact that the element did not break down. Looks much, much better now. So whatever kind of quantity I was planning for element, which is anyway small because it's a huge mover, I could definitely go for a bit more. And it's getting close. Watch it. Under 308. Once again, it don't come down. That's even better. I'm not sure it will come down, but uh, if it does, then it should be really interesting now. Great. Love to see it moving higher. Stock is down 14%. It's probably going to come down anyway. I'm short uh, BIP just touched under 45. We could have um, possibly a better entry point now to ILMN under 30. Nine and possibly soon under three or three ten. Uh, BIP stop is just fifteen cents over the highs. I'm going to post beyond um, under one sixty nine for a short. Getting ready to move out of uh, BIP. I'm out, out of BIP. Small loser. Okay, here comes the element under three o nine now. Under three o nine. We want to make sure it's coming down. It was over three twelve. 310, I'm not sure about uh, whether this is an uptrend or a downtrend. I'm not sure. But 309 looks to me like it's going to be much safer. It's getting close. About to short. Shorting now. I love the technical formation. It's just what I'm looking for at the stock to short, really. It's just a very cut, clear technical formation that usually like 70 percent of the time works out great for me doesn't look any better than this a stock that is down 15 percent moving up initially failing to move higher as it should because there's a lot of people who are averaging down their losses and stuff like that and then comes down shows me a very clear reversal moved under the view up now getting close to the lows here comes 308 well watch beyond Beyond maybe coming down to, yes, and we walk, and we've got my target, and I'm getting ready for a partial. Any pullback now, if it moves a cent over 307. Watch beyond, it's getting close. I would like to show beyond. Under 169. I've got a little bit more in ILMN than I expected for. Perfect, perfect formation, perfect formation. Any move over 306 now, took my partial. Have my partial in ILMN, an amazing trade in ILMN. And yeah. I'm short beyond and look at beyond the goals. Look at beyond goals. Look at beyond goals. Wow. If I can get one point, and that was really close to one point, I'll take it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Woo. Taking now my partial in beyond. Took my partial in beyond. 
It could go, but you know what? I'm so happy with this more than one dollar move, one thirty. That was beautiful. Two trades. <laughs> oh, I love Friday sometimes. It's a beautiful Friday. Doesn't get any better than making money on a Friday. That's for sure. And um, traders, I don't think I'm going to continue trading today. I think I'm kind of done for the day. If you wonder why, yeah, look at that. $800 loser in BIP, 4K in Beyond, 7.5 in ILMN, up over 10 grand. That all happened in 12 minutes. 12 minutes.